Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode of Blackboard Beer Reviews. Today, we're looking at another Trillium beer. One comes courtesy of my man, Matthew Cox. Massive shout out to you, man. This is the first, I think, uh, actually second, um, non-hoppy beer that I've reviewed from Trillium. This is Secret Stairs. This is a Boston Stout, they're calling it. I want to say I counted like 12 malts on the website. It's a 6.5% beer uh, with 12 malts. That's insane. One hop, Columbus. Uh, I did do their Cezanne that Joe sent me. I want to, I forget the name of it, but um, yeah, I remember not loving the Cezanne, but not thinking it was anything too bad. Really, really curious to try the darker side of Trillium, if you will. Um, I've got a few more cool Trillium beers that are not IPAs that I'm really looking forward to. Also courtesy of my man, Mr. Matthew Cox. But uh, yeah, this one pours out a pitch black. It's got a nice two and a half fingers worth of off a, let's see, mocha khaki head. Really tight white soapy bubble, or not white, but soapy bubbles for sure. Um, honestly, it looks really good in the glass. There begs the question, how much flavor can you inject into a six and a half percent beer that is not hop saturated? Well, we're about to find out. Tri uh, Treehouse does it quite well with single shots, so let's see what Trillium does. Oh yeah, that's nice. There's no wheat in this that I saw, there's no oats in this that I saw, and there's no lactose that I saw. Though the nose begs to differ in the lactose. Yeah, I'm getting a, a bouquet of those roasted black barley malts. Uh, a little bit of that like um, soft caramel, a little bit of vanilla. Baker's Cocoa, honestly, smells really good. I wouldn't think that this would be that great. This is a nice beer. The Columbus is definitely coming through. I'm getting like an earthy resinous hop character, but not in a sense where I'm like turned off by it. This, this looks and smells the part of a nice stout. It's like seven degrees outside, eight. So this hopefully will warm the soul. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of that toasted uh, acrid nature of the, the roast malt. But nothing that's off-putting. It honestly is all very harmonious. So, cheers. Thanks, Matt. Nice. I mean... It's nothing terribly out of the ordinary. Uh, I feel like a lot of breweries could make a beer very equivalent to this, but this is very, very nice. Uh, a lot of times when you, you get over the five or six malt mark, I think as a brewer, things get lost in translation. Like you're trying to execute so many different nuances and flavors that you sort of just kind of lose what your end goal is to be. This is nice. This has got a good, good balance of roast, Sweetness, hops, it's it's drinkable as fuck. Nice body too, wow. It's good to know that a brewery is not a one trick pony. Um, Treehouse does darker beers pretty good, the porter and the, the single shot, double shot, triple shot. Good Morning is an awesome beer. I wish I could review that for you guys. Uh, I've had it, but I would love to get a growler on camera if they ever make it again. Um, this is beautiful, guys. This is a textbook, two-style, brewed um, American stout. It, it, it really reminds me of, uh, what was the beer I was just drinking? Kind of like a left-hand milk stout in a way without the heavy lactose sweetness, but... Man, if they added, I think they just did pot and kettle, which is their American porter, uh, with cold pressed coffee. If they added coffee to this, this this might be a single shot battle beers episode waiting to happen. I'd love to make that happen, guys. I'm really, really enjoying this. I love that it drinks like five percent. It's so smooth. It's so tasty. It's so rich. Um, mouth feels silky smooth. 
this might be one of the best American stouts I've had in, in a long time. I think that most of them just are either too big, like they set their sights on this, and then they end up in the Imperial Zone, or they use too many different adjuncts, or they laden it with coffee, which I'm begging this to happen to, but um, this is just fun. This is a nice beer. I am super thankful to have tried this. Truly, I'm absolutely killing it in the can format. Matt, thank you so much for sending these over for review. Score-wise, uh, 95 out of 100. Um, maybe 96? Yeah, 96 sounds really, really good to me. I, I can't really figure out where I want to improve this beer, but there is just something that keeps it from truly being like the best of the best to me. I'm trying to figure that out right now. I talk a lot about, about beer harmony and how like flavors need to synchronize and they need to meld well. This is a little bit, um, I don't know, easily detectable. I'm easily picking up all these different parts that are thrown at me. Whereas like, I don't really have to search much for it, but I guess that doesn't make it a bad beer. Um, awesome example of, of an American style, brewed style. Should definitely win awards at GABF if they enter it. I think they should, so. Let me know if you guys have had Secret Stairs Boston Stout from Trillium Brewing Company. Let me know what you think about a coffee edition, even a vanilla bean edition. Uh, I think they could make this a regular rotator in the winter months and just release it like every Friday with a different um, adjunct or just this is fine too. I would definitely pay for this time and time again. I don't know if I'd pay $20 like Trillium pricing for this, but I would probably pay somewhere in the realm of 12 bucks for this. This is awesome. So. Thanks for joining me for yet another beer review. Sorry to keep you seven minutes. Hope you watch all of it. Peace.